السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا أرحم الراحمين We ask Allah Azza wa Jal teach us what benefit us benefit us from what he taught us and increase us in knowledge Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen My dear beloved respected brothers and sisters I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to make me and you from the people who listen and apply Tonight inshallah Ta'ala in the just a reminder episode we will be discussing the three best actions to be done in the month of Sha'ban. The month of Sha'ban is about to start in a couple of days and we will uh, share with each other and remind one another what are the best deeds, what are the best ibadat that we should perform in this month that precedes the month of Ramadan. The month of Sha'ban, one of the reasons it was called the month of Sha'ban is from the word Tashaaba. It means disperse because the Arab used to disperse at that month looking and uh, looking for, for water. The month of Sha'ban is the eighth month of uh, the Islamic calendar and the month of Ramadan, as we all know, is the, the ninth month. So what are some of the a'mal that we should do in, in this month? Number one, fasting. Number one, fasting. Usama bin Zayd radiallahu an, he saw Rasulullah sallallahu and he said, Ya Rasulullah, I do not see you fasting any month as much as you fast in the month of Sha'ban. So Rasulullah Zayd Usama is asking Rasulullah sallallahu why do you fast so much in, in the month of Sha'ban? Uh, Rasulullah sallallahu he said, that is a month which people do not pay any attention to because it comes between Rajab and Ramadan. So many people neglect this month uh, because it comes between the sacred month of Rajab and the month of fasting, the month of Ramadan. And he said another reason, it is a month where the deeds, it is a month where the deeds are taken up to Allah Azza wa Jal. They are presented to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala and I would love that my deeds when they are presented to be fasting, subhanAllah. As we all know, my brothers and sisters, our actions are presented to Allah on a daily manner, day and night, on a weekly manner on Monday and Thursday, and a yearly manner in the month of, of Sha'ban, subhanAllah. And also this hadith indicates that it is mustahab to make a lot of good deeds in the season where people are heedless. When people are neglectful, it is good to concentrate and do extra ibadat. Aisha also, uh, عنها, she said, Rasulullah used to fast in such an extent in the month of Ramadan that we thought he would never break his fast. And he also would go without fasting to such an extent that we thought he will never fast. Subhanallah. In another narration, she said that Rasulullah used to fast the whole month of Ramadan. And another narration, he used to fast all of it, but a little. And he used to fast most of it. Because we all know that the only month that we are supposed to fast all of it is the month of Ramadan. So when the Arabs say most of it, uh, when they say all of it, it means most of it, okay? So most of the month of Sha'ban, Rasulullah used to fast. So please do your best to fast as much as you can in this month of Sha'ban. SubhanAllah, uh, many people single out the, the night or the day of the 15th of Sha'ban to fast. There's nothing authentic in the Sunnah to single out the 15th of Sha'ban with any kind of fasting or any kind of dua or any kind of salat or any kind of gathering. Uh, if you used to fast during the year in the three white days, 13, 14, 15, and Sha'ban come, 
and you continue your fast, Allahu Akbar. But to single the 15th of Sha'ban with fasting, we need an evidence and nothing in the Sunnah or from the Sahaba that indicate to specify the 15th of Sha'ban in, in fasting and or any kind of qiyam or tahajjud. There's nothing uh, about that night uh, except one hadith that is authentic where Rasulullah said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will look down on the night of the middle of Sha'ban and forgives all his creation except a mushrik, a person who associate partners with Allah and a mushahin and a person who have cut his relationship with his Muslim brother or sister, which bring us to the second action to be done in this month, which is connecting with family members. According to this hadith, my brothers and sisters, Allah forgives all the people on that night. Look at the greatness of Allah Azza wa Jal, except a person who associate partners with Allah, inshallah, None of us is from that category. But the second one, we have a problem with that. And the second one is mushahin, a person who does not speak to uh, uh, his father, to his mother, to his son, to his wife, to his, uh, uh, to his uncle, to his aunt. Huh? He has a problem with the, not only the uh, uh, relatives, but also he had problem with another Muslim. Why, subhanAllah, my brother, my sister, for the sake of Allah, like we said in our last episode, for the sake of Allah, I'm not telling you become best friend with that person, just for the sake of Allah and for the sake of our actions to be forgiven, for our sins to be forgiven, and for the sake of our, our, our deeds to be lifted to Allah, because all our deeds are on hold until we fix that relationship. And we do not need to be best friends, just a, a salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, the month of Sha'ban is here and the month of Ramadan is coming very soon. May Allah keep us alive to witness that month. That's it. If he or she replies, Alhamdulillah, if they do not reply, you did your best, but you're doing it first for Allah, second for yourself, because you want to be forgiven in that night, and you want also to come to the month of Ramadan with a clean heart. This is the biggest achievement. The biggest achievement, if you want to prepare yourself for Ramadan, is to enter that month with a clean, pure heart. You see, the heart is the source of reception for all the beautiful ibadat that take place in Ramadan. It is the source of reception for the Quran. It is the source of reception for all these lectures that we will be hearing, right? The Jum'ah khutbahs. And if it is blocked by hatred and malice, it will not, the, the, the lectures, the Quran will not penetrate and we will not feel much in Ramadan. So let's clean our heart before the month of Ramadan comes. And one of the ways to clean our heart is to forgive others, to pardon others. The third ibadah that we should do in this month, inshallah, the month of Sha'ban, is to dedicate a lot of time for the Qur'an. They used to call the month of Sha'ban the month of Qurra, the month of the reciters, because many of our uh, righteous predecessors, they used to dedicate a lot of time in Sha'ban to read a lot of Quran. They used to finish the Quran many times in the month of Sha'ban. They are preparing themselves for the month of Quran. Shahr Ramadan is Shahr al-Quran. So we prepare ourselves by reading a lot of Quran in the month of Sha'ban. So please dedicate a certain amount of time in Sha'ban to read the Quran. Say to yourself, I'm going to read 10 minutes a day, half an hour a day. Or you can dedicate a number of pages. I'm going to read 10 pages every single day in Sha'ban in order to prepare myself for the month of Ramadan. Because in the month of Ramadan, inshallah, we will have a lot of ambition and we will do a lot of qira'ah of the Quran. So. Tell yourself, I'm not going to sleep until I finish that portion that I made a promise that I will do. My brothers and sisters, let's all make a promise. I'm going to uh, read this much, or I'm going to read this amount of time. And keep in mind that one letter, every letter we read is multiplied by 10. 
So 10 hasanas for every single letter and we have so many opportunities to gain as many hasanat as possible. So please, my brothers and sisters, these are some of the things that we can do in the month of Sha'ban, besides, inshallah ta'ala, of course, uh, the qiyam and uh, also uh, charity and many, many other a'mal. But these th- three uh, actions, concentrate on them so we can prepare ourselves for the month of Ramadan and we are ready. We are ready to fast in the month of Ramadan. We are ready to read a lot of Quran and we are ready to connect with our family members and uh, uh, take and grab the, the, the best fruits of the month of Ramadan. May Allah keep me and you alive to witness that month. And may Allah make us in that month from the people who pray and fast and be good to others and donate and uh, read a lot of Quran. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadan la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu alayk. كتاب أنزل إليك فلا يكن في صدرك حرج منه لتنذر به وذكرى للمؤمنين